Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're counting down the top 10 most special unknown flowers. From ones that only grow in one place in the world, to carnivorous flowers, and one that only has two samples growing. Let's get started. Number 10. Corpse Flower Also known as the stinking corpse lily, this ominously named flower is an eerie sight when you spot it in Indonesia's rainforest. It can grow up to a whopping 12 feet tall and up to 3 feet in diameter. It's one of the largest flowers in the world. Those are not the only unique things about it. Unlike other flowers, the corpse flower has no roots, leaves, or even a visible stem. It earned the corpse part of its name because of its unique way of attracting pollinators. The name is a reminder of the putrid, rotting odor it emits when it's in bloom. It smells like rotting meat, or, to put it in other words, like a rotting corpse. Number 9. Flame Lily Native to the tropical and southern regions of Africa and Asia, the flame lily is another giant anomaly. It can reach a staggering 13 feet in length. As beautiful as it looks with its wide range of colors of pinks, reds, oranges, and yellows, that vibrant color is an indicator of how unbelievably poisonous it is. Every single part of the rare flame lily is extremely dangerous. Even handling it can cause skin irritation. Ingesting it? In history, flame lilies have been used to commit murder. If one makes the mistake of eating it, especially its tibers, which are the flower's thickened roots that look like yams, it may be their last mistake. Number 8. Ghost Orchid The aptly named Ghost Orchid is a bit of a glitch in the flower kingdom. It doesn't have any leaves and it doesn't need photosynthesis to produce its own food. You can find it in the Bahamas, Cuba, and Florida, and you can only find them in cypress swamps where a specific fungus exists. The Ghost Orchid is a calming white flower with long petals and two lower petals that come out of the bottom. This fungus is the one thing it needs to feed. The only one who can pollinate it is the giant fink moth at night. Before we continue with one flower so rare and complicated that even Charles Darwin failed to grow, just hit the like button to fully support us. Number 7. Lady Slipper Orchid Resembling, well, a lady slipper, Lady Slipper Orchid is a delightful sight to see, if you can find it. Its rarity comes from habitat loss and the insane sheer amount of effort it takes to grow one. Although you can find it in North America, United Kingdom, and Asia, it takes multiple years to grow and mature. The Lady Slipper Orchid is a protected species with some countries making it illegal to pick them. For centuries, these beautiful flowers have been a subject of fascination. Even Charles Darwin tried and failed to cultivate it. Number 6. Jade Vine You can only find these vibrant, claw-shaped flowers in just one place in the world the lush rainforest of the Philippines. And what a sight they make! Their vines growing up to 13 meters, they often droop down. Their brilliant colors range from blue to an electric light and mint green. A bunch of them clumped together can stretch up to an impressive 90 centimeters. Chances are, in a few years, jade vines will be a thing of the past. They have officially been declared endangered due to deforestation. Number 5. Chocolate Cosmos Entirely extinct in the wild and about to be entirely gone from nature is the chocolate cosmos, which can only be found in protected areas. Its history is fascinating. It was originally introduced into cultivation in the year 1902. Now, a single clone that was reproduced by negative propagation saved the species. Its name stems from the enticing chocolatey scent that it emits, along with its dark brown or maroon color. They can reach up to 40 to 60 centimeters tall. Number 4. Yutan Pola Yutan Pola flowers are literally the stuff of myth and legend. Legend has it that Yutan Pola only blooms once every 3,000 years. It's also said that a Yutan Pola blooming is a sign of the reincarnation of Buddha. It can grow in China, Korea, Taiwan, and sometimes in the U.S. Native to China, it's not known as Yutan Pola there, but as Udambara, which means descending from the heavens. It also symbolizes immortality. Its scent? It's been described as resembling sandalwood. Number 3. Gibraltar Campion For some time, the world thought that Gibraltar Campion flowers were entirely extinct. That was in 1992 after the destruction of its habitat. However, against all odds, 
The rare flower was rediscovered again in 1994. It was found growing in the Upper Rock Nature Reserve. The strangest thing is that it was found in a completely inhospitable environment. Now, you can find it exclusively growing at the Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew, in London, protected under the Nature Protection Act of 1991 by the Law of Gibraltar. They come in a beautiful palette of violets and bright pinks. Number 2. Attenborough's Pitcher Plant It's about time a carnivorous flower made it here. The Attenborough's Pitcher Plant is named after naturalist and broadcaster Sir David Attenborough, who is a well-known fan of the genus. This one-of-a-kind flower was discovered as recently as 2007 after an expedition that lasted for a whopping two months. Ever since then, it's been one of the 100 most threatened species in the world. Attenborough's pitcher plant is thought to be the world's largest carnivorous plant. It can reach up to a whopping 4.9 feet tall. It's pretty hard to locate one. One was found on the summit of Mount Victoria in central Palawan, the Philippines. Its pitchers can reach an impressive 11.8 inches in diameter. It's so large that it can hold about 1.5 liters of water. There is a reason why it's so massive. It needs its size to maintain its unique diet of capturing and feeding on rodents and any small animal that falls into its trap. Number 1. Middle Mist Red The rarest flower in the world? There are only two of them in the entire world. There is one Middle Mist Red growing in a greenhouse at Cheswick House in West London and another in a garden in New Zealand. It's named after gardener John Middle Mist, who brought it with him from China in 1804 to the UK. He gave it over to Kew Gardens. Now, Middle Miss Red has been through a lot. The original flower disappeared, only to have a bud reappearing a few years later in the Camellia section. This bud was later added by the 6th Duke of Devonshire to the Palladian Villa, Cheswick House, where it survived a planted bomb. Rose-like in appearance, it's believed that part of the reason why they survived is that people unknowingly grew it in their gardens, unaware of its rare nature. That was all for today, guys. Let us know in the comments which of these special flowers you thought was the most impressive. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating videos for you. Till the next one!